And it is time for Drew's News. The good news sprinkles on your news cake with that satisfying good news crunch. <laughs> does, does sprinkles crunch? They do, yeah. I have some experience with them, and they do. Right? They get in your teeth. You know what I'm talking about. I yeah. think they're just so pretty. I never eat them. Well, with me at the desk is uh, the best co-pilot in the world, Rossi Ross Matthews. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Now I want sprinkles. Now I do. I'll get you some sprinkles. Please don't get me sprinkles, please. Look at my body. I'm trying to keep it together. Don't get me anything with sprinkles on it. I know. I know. Ugh, pendulum over here. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Well, we are starting with style news. Now, remember, we are losing our minds over Netflix's new deal with Nancy Myers to make a new movie. <laughs> okay, so Metro reports that the latest style icon is Diane Keaton in every Nancy Myers movie movie ever. Yes. And the Understood. trend is officially called the coastal grandmother look. Um, all right. Well, the style is cozy, chic, and very breathable. For uh, some inspo, check out Diane in Something's Gotta Give. Any day, all day, I'll watch that movie. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see coastal there. Yes. Well, I mean, there's an ocean. So if you don't see coastal, well, something's wrong with you. Yeah. Let's see Meryl Streep and It's Complicated. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Giving her Santa Barbara best. Yes. We're talking linens, neutrals, anything with that good flow for sitting back and draining that bottle of wine. Um, and I also love a like a cream uh, cable knit turtleneck with a linen pant and a bottle of Pinot Grigio. <laughs> I am living my coastal grandmother fantasy just about every single day. We're all picking up what Nancy Myers is putting down. Thank you so much. Uh, well, next up, we've got an insane story from your hometown of Los Angeles, Drew. Oh. Yeah, listen to this. NPR reports a woman was standing at one of those lottery ticket vending machines. Oh, this is crazy. She was deciding which scratcher ticket she was going to buy when a stranger rudely bumped into her, hitting her arm, made her purchase a $30 ticket, which she never would have picked if it were up to her. And she was so irritated, she went back to her car, she scratched it off, and she won $10 million. Can you believe this story? $10 I didn't think things like this were possible. Have you ever won anything on like a lottery ticket or? My life. Your life, yeah. You won the lottery, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I did. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Well, okay. <laughs> With all its ups and downs. Yeah. <laughs> that's a way more poignant answer than mine. One time I accidentally hit the bet max on a penny slot in Palm Springs. It was $5 spin. And I won $100. Oh, I did. On pennies. On pennies. No. Yes, it doesn't. I mean, I've lost. It still spitting out pennies as we speak? Because <laughs> well, $100 in pennies. I... <laughs> it, it's a, like, it, that's how the pilgrims did slot machines. Now they just give you a little uh, piece of paper that said $100. No, yes. no, no. Yeah, you don't get coins anymore. No coins. No, no. When was the last time you went to a casino? 1970 <laughs> what? Come on. I'm always on the blackjack table. Oh. And I. Um, I like to split fives and do everything wrong and, and make the whole table mad at me and the dealer's furious and the people who are riding are just mad at me. But I, I tend to do okay. So it pays off. That risky behavior pays off for you.